They basically told her about six months ago that if she didn't have the valve surgery, she would have a life expectancy of two years. And that's because the valve was closing so much that she was down to, it was only open 17%. She'd lose her blood pressure, she'd lose her, um, the blood pressure and the breathing capacity. Um, she coded twice while she was in the hospital here during that time period. Um, they were able to revive her each time and we saw a multitude of doctors. It was definitely a multidisciplinary team approach to her because she had so many things going on and they didn't know what was causing it. And um, they had a woman named Kathy who has been a godsend. She's like the coordinator for all of the people that have what's called a TAVI procedure which is the valve replacement. She came in and explained the entire procedure, told me what to expect, told me how long it would probably be so that I wouldn't be fearful if it was three or four hours and I hadn't heard anything. When they came out an hour and a half later and said it's done, I thought they were not able to do the procedure, that something had happened and it was just the opposite. We, I was just ecstatic. They told me that the valve had slid right into place and immediately started working. And the, Dr. Strickman and Dr. Steinbeck came out, I gave them all hugs and said, I can't believe it's done. You actually got to do this because we've been waiting so long for it. Nancy for almost 13 years since she had her bypass in 2000, me for the last couple months because I just learned how serious it was at that point. Uh, she is totally a different person than I've ever seen. And I've known her, ten, known her over 10 years and she has, she's motivated, she has a, a will to live, she's excited about going outside and doing everything she hasn't been able to do. She shows dogs and she had to stop doing that because she was going around the wing, ring one day about two years ago and she um, totally almost passed out. She turned blue and started coughing and couldn't finish. And her love of dogs now is something that she has a goal to get back in the ring with the dog again and I foresee that's going to happen this fall. And I am very excited. I can do things that I haven't been able to do in 10 years. This was probably the best thing that ever happened to me. I got a life again. And the doctors did it. And the people here took great care of me. I couldn't be happier. And what Nancy doesn't know is Nancy's having a surprise trip home as soon as the doctors release her to fly. I didn't know that. Yeah. Cool. I've been very, very fortunate. I got a wonderful family. I have a team of doctors that is second to none. I can't say enough. I don't even know how to thank them. I don't even have the words. When someone gives you a life, what do you say? She's been very motivated to get well, to get better, to utilize this valve, that, this gift that she's been given. I show couldn't them even, what she can do with it. I couldn't even walk across the room without being out of breath. Now, it's a digital world. The world has opened up. And that's amazing that I can walk without being out of breath and passing out. Look out, dog show people, here she comes. I'm coming back. 